Hey everyone, Jacob Burt here from the National Sports Media Association. I'm here today with Mississippi 2022 Sports Writer of the Year, Mr. Rick Cleveland. Congratulations on the on the award and thank you for being here today. Uh, thanks for having me. Awesome. Uh, how did you get started into this business? Oh, well, I'm 70. I started uh, when I was 13. At the, I grew up in Hattiesburg, Mississippi and started uh, writing covering ball games for the local newspaper, the Hattiesburg American, and uh, just kept doing it through high school, um, joined the staff full-time um, the day I graduated from high school and uh, worked all the way through college at the Hattiesburg American. So I've been doing it for 57 years. Wow, that's impressive. What do you think separates you from your peers? Oh, I don't I don't know that anything does. I um uh, I stayed at it, I'll tell you that. Um uh, um and I, I you know, I've I've done uh fifty six out of the fifty seven years here in Mississippi, and so I know the landscape, I know what makes uh the place tick, I know what's wonderful about it and what's and I know it's warts, so uh yeah, I think that helps. I think uh, uh, a buddy of mine, Willie Morris, a great Mississippi writer, once told me that we write best about what we love most. And so uh, I, th I, th I think that might have something to do with it. <laughs> awesome. How did you get to where you are right now? How did I get to where I am now? Well, I am a, uh, you know, I'm a, I am an independent contractor. I, I'm a freelance writer, and my big, by far, my biggest contract is with Mississippi Today. It's a, a digital newspaper. Just won a Pulitzer Prize. Uh, uh, we're doing some really good things in Mississippi, and uh, it was actually created because of the, uh, you know, uh, the reduction of staffs at traditional newspapers. Uh, we. Mm -hmm. kind of uh it's not just mississippi it's everywhere we've lost the watchdog factor of, of newspapers and uh, mississippi today was created to fill that void and um uh, so when they they asked me to join i was more than happy to uh i spent four years actually when I took a buyout from the Clarion Ledger, which was where I worked for 33 years, mm -hmm. I went to work. I was the executive director of the Mississippi Sports Hall of Fame for four years. And uh, and when the chance came to go back to writing full time, it was a no brainer for me. Awesome. Uh, what inspired you to go down this path? Excuse me? What inspired you to go down this path? Well, you know, I, I loved when I was a kid, just a kid. I was, a, I loved to read and, and I, and I love sports and my teachers said I had a knack for writing and that was part of it. But also my dad was a sports writer and, uh, mm. uh, and later a sports publicist, I uh, mean, you know, like a sports information director. And so I was around sports writers all the time growing up and it, and it just seemed like to me they were having a hell of a lot more fun than than, than the doctors and the lawyers and the uh, plumbers and everybody else i encountered they'd all come over to our house after a game and and you know and uh, sit around and have a cocktail and talk about how you know, what they had written and, and about the game. And I, I was just like a little kid in the candy store. I couldn't <laughs> wait to do it myself. Awesome. Who would you say you looked up to in the business? Well, my dad, obviously. Um, but you know, when I was a kid in Hattiesburg, the guy that, uh, that I wanted to read was Red Smith, who was, the. uh, columnist at that time with the New York Times and um I would go to the library and and read his columns and then the first time I ever won this award which was when I was 
21 years old. Um, I got uh, back then they had the awards ceremony in Salis Salisbury, North Carolina. And I went and the first guy I bumped into in the um, reception was Red Smith. And I, I sat with him at the awards dinner, which is, is still a highlight of mine. You know, a lot of kids grew up wanting to be Mickey Mantle, but Red Smith is who I really wanted to be like. Mm -hmm. Awesome. My last question, uh, what is some advice you can give students or young people like me who want to go into this uh, industry? Well, <clears throat> number one would be read, 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 read. Uh, read good writing and uh, and then when you're getting into whatever you're going to do when you're going to decide what you what you want to write what you want to report um, man I think it always helps to write about something you love you mm -hmm. know something you care about and uh, something that that doesn't seem like work uh, mm -hmm. which is, you know, I've, <laughs> I've been doing it for 50 some years and I'm, and I'm, I still enjoy it. And so I, that would, that would be my first advice. And also to, 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 uh, take all the time you have to make whatever you're writing the best it can be. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Well, thank you for your time. And uh, I hope to see you in person at the awards in June. All right, buddy, you take care.